Hi friends, hope you are fine. Let's begin with the term metabolomics. Metabol means the products of metabolism or some total of all reactions, all chemical reactions that is happening within a biological system or a cell that keeps us alive. And metabolomics can be defined as a large scale scientific study of small molecules that is produced as a result of metabolism in a biological system that includes amino acids, sugars, lipids, etc. At the end of this video, you will be able to understand what is metabolomics, how metabolomics works and what are the major applications of metabolomics. For understanding this metabolomics better, we must know the flow of information in a biological system. It starts with genome. Genome represents the complete genetic information within an organism that includes mitochondrial genes and chloroplast genes. This information is transcribed to RNA to form the transcriptome. And this transcriptome is later translated to proteins. All the proteins that is present within a system, within an organism, forms the proteome. So we have given a short video on this. You can refer that for more. And finally, this information is passed on to metabolome by the enzymatic actions of these proteins. These proteins will catalyze many chemical reactions or many metabolic pathways resulting in the formation of many small molecules that forms the metabolome or it means the complete set of low molecular weight metabolites in a living system that includes amino acids, sugars, lipids, nucleotides, etc. Now let us see how this metabolomics works. So first of all, we have to collect the sample either from human or from animal models, sample from blood, urine, tissue or fecal matter. Then we need to identify and quantify the metabolites or small molecules within this sample. And we use either an MR or MS, mass spectroscopy nuclear magnetic resonance spectroscopy or mass spectroscopy is a method of choice. Either we use liquid chromatography mass spectroscopy or gas chromatography mass spectroscopy for identification and quantification of these metabolites. Then we'll be getting this spectral data. Then we have to process this spectra to avoid any errors to refine this data then we will be using different statistics to find out biomarkers or some specific aspects like biomarkers. For example, suppose we have taken sample from a patient having a specific disease. So are there any biomarker in that sample? That means is there any chemical that is present consistently throughout the sample? So that particular chemical that unique chemical can be used as a biomarker for diagnosing that disease. That presence or that formation of that particular chemical can act as an indicator of that particular disease. That is called a biomarker. So we will be using different statistical tools to assess that. And finally, we will be using different databases like METLIN uh, to identify these metabolites based on the spectral features and peak positions and finally, we need to interpret the role of these metabolites in different biological pathways. For that, we will be using different databases like KEK, MetaPsych, etc. These are all metabolic pathways databases. So we could easily interpret the data. What are the impact of these chemicals within these biological pathways? And finally, on, this, on the basis of that, we will reach an interpretation regarding that metabolite. And this is how this metabolomics works. And this is the paper and I will be giving the link in the description. You can refer that for more. Why we study metabolomics or what are the major applications? In disease diagnosis and treatment for the development of biomarkers, biomarkers are actually indications of a medical state that is observed from outside the patient, which can be measured accurately and reproducibly. 
Uh, let's take an example to understand this, understanding the health at molecular level. For example, decreased choline and linoleic acid in serum of lung cancer patient. So this condition is a typical of lung cancer patient. So diagnosis is easy without further tests. So certain chemicals are produced as a result of a pathological condition and that serves as a biomarker. Then in toxicity studies, drug safety and screening, so we'll be injecting drugs into different animal models and to find out which are the metabolites produced and what is the effect on the complete system to assess the toxicity of that particular drug. Then even in food safety also we are using these metabolomics. Changes in chemicals or chemical nature of foodstuffs helps us to understand the quality of the food. Then in environmental metabolomics there is a uh, the effect of chemical pollutants so we are, we are exposed to different types of chemicals uh, fertilizers etc as a result of biomagnification these fertilizers and as food chain and can have impact on our system so what are the impacts and what are the chemicals that is synthesized and what are the manifestations all are studied then environmental changes when different uh, organisms are placed under different when different organisms are placed and are exposed to different environments how they adapt by changing their metabolism which are the chemicals produced these are all studied as, as part of ecology and environment and finally and then there is plant and microbial metabolomics we are getting number of chemicals useful chemicals metabolites from plants and microbes so to understand that and also in agriculture uh, during a pest infestation which are the chemicals that is synthesized by the plants can we induce that chemicals in a sensitive plant so that that plant becomes resistant these are all studies that is going on then microbial metabolites a number of chemicals we are getting from microbes like antibiotics organic acids etc so how these are synthesized is there any method to induce the synthesis there are different aspects that is studied as part of metabolomics. So these are some of the applications of metabolomics as this is an emerging field. Each day the number of applications are also increasing. And this is about metabolomics. If you find this video useful please consider subscribing this channel, sharing the content. Thank you so much for your support. You are with biologyexamsforyou.com.